Okay, the hickory that we have here is Caria cordiformis or bitternut hickory. And you can see like other hickories in um, our flora that it does have this kind of XY braided looking bark. <coughs> On Caria cordiformis though, I think one thing that's distinctive and a little bit different about it <coughs> is that the bark is not quite as deeply furrowed as it is on say mockery hickory, pignut hickory, or red hickory. To me it looks like somebody, the furrows are a little bit shallower, like somebody took a hot iron and set it down on top of the bark and flattened it out a bit. So bitternut hickory has this kind of flattened bark. It's also a little bit habitat differences between bitternut hickory and other hickories. This is a species that likes bottomlands and wet areas. It can occur, co-occur with the other species, but it doesn't always. So how to identify it by leaves? Um, so you can see it has compound leaves, right? Here's my bud. And so this entire structure is a pinnately, pinnately compound leaf. And Caria cordiformis notably has leaflets in sevens to nines. And so this one that I'm holding, um, all the leaflets are nines, right? So two, four, six, eight nine leaflets per leaf. So that's a dead ringer for Caria cordiformis. Um, another important aspect is that their leaves are a little bit fuzzy on the undersides. Um, they are softly pubescent and they have um, pretty regular serrations on the leaflets. So that's something that's um, pretty distinctive for Caria cordiformis. Lastly, a really important key for this plant is Caria cordiformis has naked buds instead of imbricate buds. And so these buds are a bright sulfur yellow. Let me get the on my shirt so you can really see the color. So a really bright yellow color and these axillary buds are also yellow in color. So that's very different from the big chunky imbricate, you know, buds with imbricate scales that you see on mockernut hickory, um, red hickory and pignut hickory. So Bright yellow buds are a dead character. You can use this character in wintertime. Um, bitternut hickory is in the Apocaria division of hickories. And the so this is in the same division as pecan. And the nuts have these ridges on them. So you can see they are round to a little bit um, ovate, but they have these ridges on them, raised ridges on them that extend about halfway down along the nut. Here's one that's fully mature and you can see these ridges. So that's really, you know, that's just like pecan except pecan has longer ones and more oval nuts. Um, but this is a character that if you find the nuts can help you separate it from the other hickories in our flora. Um, bitternut hickory has a very durable wood, um, although it's not um, super sought after. It, it, it does have value um, as anything with, you know, all of our hickories have very dense wood. It's useful for two tool handles. Sometimes a little bit unusual um, use in cabinetry. And of course the nuts have a very high wildlife value. So they are sought after by deer, bears, um, and other wildlife um, that appreciate the high nutrition nuts. Uh, Caria cordiformis, cordiformis, cordiformis means heart-shaped. Not quite sure what that reference um, is for. But um, like all hickories, it is in the Juglandaceae family, which is the walnut family. Um, and just a really beautiful native tree. It can get to be, you know, full size, very long lived and quite large. And you would find them most commonly in a bottomland hardwood forest. So that's Caria cordiformis or bitternut hickory.